get rid of your credit card debt, get a lower monthly payment, and skip your next two house payments at SaveWithConrad.com. NMLS number 65084, equal housing lender. You don't need perfect credit or money out of your pocket to save thousands with SaveWithConrad.com. Find out how much money you can save right now at SaveWithConrad.com. Welcome back to the show. It's Road Dog and Cassio, and you're listening to. Oh, you didn't know. Ah, we're just trying some new stuff out. I thought you were that. gonna do like, a like Oh, dog. you didn't know, or be like, Oh, you didn't know. You better hack somebody. The D O Double G and Cassio, we getting rowdy, 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 rowdy. rowdy. Oh, oh, rowdy. Oh, we're about to move some things. You went hey, RB at first. Do? What are, what are we going to do in here? Yeah, you I like the R&B biscuit. Mo- Mo, I thought you were going to be like, set adrift on memory bliss. I said, uh, nah, nah, to take up. What'd you say? <laughs> I didn't hear. <laughs> what, uh, <laughs> hey, so I'm excited today. All right. Uh, are you Are you happy? Oh, I'm so happy because I happy feel like you know it. in just a second after yeah. we get our regular housekeeping out of the way, yeah. That I won't have to talk the rest of the episode. Ooh. I'm just going to laugh. And I'm just going to say, hang on, buckle up, buttercup, and let's roll. All right, so let's get our standard housekeeping out of the way. First yep. of all, we want to start with our meme of the week. We want to. We have no idea what's about to pop up on I the screen. I thought it was meme but okay. It just kind of gets us in a good mood, gets yep. us rolling, rocking and rolling. Dom, sling up that meme of the week. Or Mimi, either one. When she finally farts in front of you and the smell has you rethinking your future together. Okay. Okay. Can I There's a lot to unpack here. There's a lot to unpack there, but that's good. I I've don't been even married know three what, years, never what, farted in front of my wife. Have you not? She hasn't either. We, she's, we've each had one accident each. A mulligan. It's a mulligan. Yeah, so we're good. We're even on that. So, but that's it. Never, 27 years in September, never, my wife has never farted in front of me. <laughs> there we go. See, everybody never. thinks I'm weird. I hey. don't want it to happen. Oh, no, I fart in front of my wife all the time. <laughs> like, I just, I'm sorry. I'm just, <laughs> but I honestly love the fact that she feels Ooh. that way about exactly. herself. Exactly. You yes. know what I mean? Like, I, I that's a, that's what I love. But but I also have two daughters that'll sit on your lap to cut one. So, I mean, I, you know, <laughs> I literally go both ways <laughs> in this category. Hey, let's, I'm excited about this. <laughs> I'm excited about this, this guest. Let's what, get this out of the We got the way. meme, meme we got of the week. Thing. I don't know thing. what uh, Chuck E. Cheese had to do with that. We, but. Well, that was just that look. Just look at that look. Yeah. Okay, the eyes. I didn't see the eyes. Yeah, yeah. No, it's yeah, it's the look of <laughs> oh god. No, I, I shameful. I go in a closet, turn some water on in the bathroom. Yeah. You know, I you turn the volume up. Doors yeah. and floors I need between us all. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I get it. I'm just not gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and also since we are tired of hearing uh one and a quarter star reviews from yeah, my friend from Dave Milzer. Milzer. We try to get in the five-star review of the week. Let's yes, throw that up, Don. Road Dog, you... S- we don't know Ooh. what it says after Ooh. that, but Wallace7420 said, that show is great. I also enjoyed the dark side of life, so I enjoy the scatterbrain thinking. You're hilarious. Cassio is awesome. Ridiculous, ridiculous. Keep up the good work. Wallace, thank you, sir. Wallace 7. I think it's Wallace7420. You think it's Wall is 7420? Wall, I don't think it's 7420. I think there's a 7. Wall is 7, 420. Wall is or Wallace 7. A and then 420 dog, is you in smoke? S- I think he was saying son of a bee sting. That's what I, I think, think he was, was going to say. Um, uh, go drop us a five-star review wherever you're at. YouTube. Yeah, please. Uh, hey, thank you so much, too. Uh, wall is. Wallace. Marijuana 20. 
Um, yeah, so so we appreciate you, big dog. Now, let's get into our guest. Dog, I'm going to let you do the honors because this is one of your boys, my friend. So, yeah, I will start by saying I am excited about this guest. Uh, I think you will all be thoroughly entertained by this, this man as I have been for, and, and, and I thought about this earlier today, the past 30 years. Uh, wow. Some of you, some of you are going to know him as... Uh, Tex Tex Slazinger from WCW. Yep. Some of you are going to know him as uh, Phineas Phineas Ignatius Godwin, Pig yep. of the Godwins. Uh, some of you are going to know him from whatever he was with Southern Justice. I don't remember if he had a name change then or just a was uh, that Leatherface. Well, at, well, he was he was also Leatherface. It wasn't he wasn't Leatherface in Southern Justice, but he probably was in Puerto Rico or Japan or some of those. Why don't we just ask him, ladies and gentlemen? Well, this naked is Midian. Naked Midian himself, Dennis Knight. Yeah. Hit the music. Hit the music. I queued up. <laughs> hey, everyone. Nice to see you. Sorry. I, that's okay. He was messing up the audio. I love the yes. I love the fact that you had that. And I don't know what was he was sitting. To my on. roommate, his name's Charlie. <laughs> Listen, I know I screwed up. You wouldn't think I would because I've done like three of these yeah. in my life. So kind of an old hand at it. You didn't. You didn't screw up anything. The people don't know. Yeah. Don't tell them. Okay. Yeah, they yeah, didn't hey, see the, the, first the funny part. thing, uh, Tex is, and I and I'll just I'm gonna call you Tex because if what you're yeah, supposed yeah, to yeah. call you, Mama call you Tex. Tex. No, yeah, Vince called me. Vince and Stephanie came up to me, and because it was I was uh, Tex Sizinger, and then I was Leatherface in Japan and uh, Memphis with Lawler, and then I was Tex in WCW, and then Phineas, and then. Dennis Knight, Southern Justice, and then Midian. That's what it is. And then I was Chef Dennis Knight for the last 22 years. Yeah, man. Thir so that's 30 years 32 ago. 32 years, 92. 92. Yeah. Hold wow. on a second. Ah. He's getting a call. Sorry. Pizza rolls. I got ready. it. Okay. It Pizza was Hunter. Rolls. <laughs> Sorry, Paul. I'll call he, won't, you back. he won't stop calling. Oh, and he's frozen. Oh, oh that he's nice. frozen. You're frozen a good way. No, hold on. I'm just trying to get. I see. I got. I got my iPad. I wanted to do it all professional. That didn't yeah. work. No, it never does. <laughs> yeah, Dude, I, I was. I was. The reason. I, yeah. The reason I was late is for the same exact reason. I've been doing this for over a year, and I still don't know how to do it. And don't know. And yeah. I was. I'm sending them text and just going off, and they're like, oh, right. God, he's mad already. I love you. You're like we're in a war. The dog was earlier today. He's like, just do it without me. Just leave me. <laughs> just leave me. Go on ahead. Said, Go on without me. Oh, oh my Lord. God. Hey, yeah, so, so, yeah, 19, 1992. God almighty. Let me tell well, you what I got excited we're for. Old. I saw you guys see each other in, I believe it was Dallas at a convention. Yeah. And y'all yes. locked eyes like dirty dancing. And it was just <laughs> oh, I've had. I and I went, well. those are boys right there. Yeah. You know, yeah. Well, there's a couple people you, you see that are friendly, yeah. but y'all went boom. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh what happened was when we started, we were both 20, 21 years old. He just got out of the core. I just uh came up from Florida and we were surrounded like in Florida championship. When I started, I was with Dusty and Blackjack and all that. And we got to WCW and my partner's like five years older than me. And me and Brian were just 21, 22 year old kids. So we just, yeah, we kind of locked and we lived together WCW a little bit. We lived together in Memphis in a haunted house, but we'll get to it. Uh, all kinds of shit. I mean, literally my, uh, I, I've got the best family in the world. I've got the two best brothers. And then I have Henry Godwin, who's kind of like my older brother, uncle. And then it's like me and him are kind of like these two, you know, like best friends that kind of grew up together that met when we were like babies. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, we cannot talk for ever. And then it just, as you can see, picks right back up. <clears throat> yeah. Can I drink my beer on the picture? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah if too. you want to, yeah. then just don't. Oh, what if I just pull a giant bottle of Jack up and just take it? <laughs> 
Excuse me. Did that bottle have a handle on it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did did it? Airplane. Did it have dog, a... dog, tell me what you can remember first time you see this guy walking in a locker room. The first time you met well, him. Well, I'm, try I'm trying to remember it. It had to have been probably center stage or something. Like, I don't know. I yeah. don't remember the fir very first time, to be quite honest. I think it was at your brother's house. At Brad's? Oh. Yeah. It okay. was probably that, at Brad's yeah, house. That makes, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Because then you would just come up, and I remember me and Henry would go over to Brad's for, yeah. like, we would play bridge, you know, yeah. and we would yeah. uh, Uno for, yeah. trivia night. It was great. We were like, cut up this. We had this exercise where we would get this cardboard piece of paper and try to cut it up into like 200 <laughs> little tiny squares just to see if we could cut just the paper up. Just to see if we could do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, that's a, there's a side story there where we drip liquid acid on each sheet of that paper. Okay. And, and, yeah. and, and we well, didn't, we we didn't think it, we didn't think it worked. Yeah, no. Well, we bought first. We bought a sheet, a car, a whole entire sheet from some high school kid, <laughs> and then we spent like an hour cutting it up into little pieces. And then we took it and we're like, "Oh, this is gonna be good." <laughs> it was cardboard paper. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't like to remember those. He's talking about <laughs> yeah, is yeah. Uh, we uh, we were at Brad's and we were going to get tattoos, and Brad had this bottle of breath assure, this little liquid. So Brad goes, oh, here. So we took it and we dropped it on little pieces of paper and we went to get our tattoos and we took one eh, a little bit, took another one, another one, nothing. So then I was moving back to Florida and uh, we were going to go stop at Nick. This is a, I haven't told this story in a million years. <laughs> we were going to stop at Nick Patrick's on the way up. I was driving from Marietta and Nick was about an hour and a half down. So Brad goes, oh, well, it must not be good. So we're standing in Marietta and Brad's kitchen, and we take the bottle and we go one, two, three, one, two, three, because we didn't think it was anywhere. About half hour, forty minutes later, I had never wanted to be anywhere so bad. We walked in in Nick Patrick's house, and he had this big fish fry with all these people. You've heard this story, we Cassie. Fish fry, yeah. Out of mind. We walk in, and I look at the table, and there's all these fucking coffee, uh, deep fried, and the, the whole thing's going like this. And Brian's like trying to keep it under control. And then we look at each other and Brian goes, Hey, Nick, we are out of our fucking minds on acid right now. I just had to be honest. I said, I can't even yeah. buy to that, dude. And then we spent the next two days in a hotel room with all of my stuff oh, and all and of a my huge horror video movies, a giant Doberman, and we probably did like 25 hits in like two days. And that's yeah. not even a joke. Yeah, that's not that's no joke. Both of us were like bleeding from the dog, was like very mouthy, yeah, like a big, was like, big blue dog. Oh, yeah, we were rough, dude. We were rough. We would fucking get we I'm sorry, I'm so okay. we would we would go out. This is like this is how we like connected. All the older adults were being adults, and me and him would just get out of the car and just start fighting each other you know we had this thing because we just saw this movie the program and we would sit there and go see the table see the table and then just spin into each other's faces it was awesome so yeah. so this all that all everything he just said is a fact is a true yeah. statement there's going to be lots more of these stories because i want to there's an infamous one at Steve, yeah. Steve Austin's house, and we'll yeah. get there. We'll get there. Yeah. But so, so you started in. Uh, I don't know if it was called. 1988. Florida Championship Wrestling. Uh, Steve Kern and Dusty Rhodes. Dusty was booking Florida Championship. Yep. Uh, dude, I'm a, I'm a, I'm 19 years old, and it's Dick Slater, Blackjack Mulligan, Bugsy McGraw, Steve Kern, Mike Graham, Dusty Rhodes. Yeah. And I'm just like they made me uh, text. Robert Fuller gave me the name Tex, yeah. and Blackjack Mulligan took me out to his truck, and uh, and then he touched me. No, he didn't touch me. <laughs> and uh, he goes, "Hey, boy." He goes, "You're a cowboy now. You Next need thing this." You know, so he I was the, the champion. <laughs> yeah, and hands me uh, the bull rope uh, that I used all the way through WCW with uh, Henry. I used all the way through Florida Championship and everything. I still have it. I just I was just posted. Yeah, I, I posted. I found this, dude. You're not gonna believe this. I've lost everything. You know, yeah. I'm sure Brian has too. We were not yeah. the most 
careful with our things or like care yeah. too much. I was moving into uh, my new house. I got I got this beautiful three bedroom house for Barry. It's the house I grew up in, price. my grandparents' house. Yeah, and uh, I was moving, and I found this old canvas WCW bag that we got when we went and met Ted Turner, and they had that thing. Do you remember that? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, it might have been right before you were there. We had this giant meeting, uh, Flair and everybody, and we yeah. all got to take a picture with Ted Turner. And we got these canvas bags and I was moving and I opened it and it was my Texan Shanghai gear, the bull oh, rope, my, my boots, my first overalls, the red long johns I got when we lived in Nashville when uh, Jamie Dundee spent the whole trip home going, boy, you ain't going to do You ain't going to draw a dime, blah, blah, blah. And Brian was the only one I told yeah, Lawler just said I'm going up to WWE or WWF, you know, tomorrow. So I didn't tell him. So I got the long john. And then I have my Midian T-shirts that I ripped off of Brian because he wore the T-shirts. And uh, I got three made. I have no idea where two of them are. And I have one. So I've got every one of my gimmicks in every, that bag. Yeah. Wow. You can make some money on those. That's a big bag. Yeah, yeah that's a big bag. Yeah. yeah. The greatest every wrestling character. collection guy. Look at that What's guy. That? Look oh, at there that. You go. There's the rope. Yeah. That is. That is. That's the rope. Mm. Holy shit. I was like 23 then. Whoa. Hey, so let me ask you. Let's go back a little further than that. So so this was uh, uh, Mike Graham owned it, right? And, and who, who yes. trained you? Steve Kern, the best trainer in the world. <laughs> yeah, I, I, know, I know a bunch of wrestlers that would totally agree with that. Famous, Drew McIntyre, all the girls. Yeah. I mean, I even came up and uh, helped him a little bit. Well, I helped him. Uh, when I left WWE at his private school, and then he did the Florida Championship Wrestling, which yeah. was the NXT, so I helped him out a little bit there. But, uh, I mean, it was, I have this paper that's got all of these wrestling holds and all this terminology, and you could not have your first match until you, you know, knew, knew how to do that. Yeah. everything on there. I you know, it wasn't like the bad. power plant. Yeah, they didn't beat our ass. I mean, they beat our asses, but, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but, you, but it that's was awesome. part of the deal. You know yes. what I mean? Like that's what that, now they go. Oh well, they they beat they beat me up. Yeah, yeah, that happens. Are you gonna come <laughs> yeah. back? Yeah, yeah, and, and so no one so, beat me so, up worse than than you did though. It's so funny. <laughs> we had a battle ball where it was. This is a true uh, story. It, too. it was yeah. Me and uh, me and Henry or me and Shanghai at the time. Uh, it was battle ball where they would mix up the teams and they had a couple tag teams that never fought. And then it was me and Bagwell versus the world champion Rick Root and Henry. And we did a little thing and we teased it. And then we, you know, we got to the spot where Dusty wanted us to go at it. And yeah. we said, let's just fucking let's throw just hands together. <laughs> the cold twins, we got in the back and the cold twins, everybody was going crazy. They were like, it looked like you two just saw each other, shut your beers down, and went after it. <laughs> but maybe, this could be a Netflix it, documentary yeah, we're yeah. going to hear about oh. then. Hey, believe oh, you dude. me, there could be a Netflix documentary about yeah. uh, just Let about the apartment. Yes, La Park apartment, all right? Yeah. Uh, me and Henry and Brian pretty much between us and Max Payne's apartment was living. <laughs> yeah. Next door to us was Sid Vicious. Up a floor was Kevin Nash. Up a floor was Steve Regal, yep. Max Payne, David Sullivan, uh uh eric watts yeah the penthouse was wyndham mike graham and greg gagne uh, yeah. um yeah and they all had their families wow. so they would all come kevin nash this is a hilarious story kevin would always like go oh honey i'm taking the dog out and he would come down to our apartment and just get baked just get super <laughs> high spend like an hour go back up to his apartment first thing the dog does is shit in the apartment and his wife is like what the hell Kevin's like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> right. Oh, oh, oh it, these were uh, these were good times, man. We had yeah. some good dead gum times there. Yeah, so, no cell so, phones. So, Thank so, God, no cell phones. So, so amen, yeah. Yeah. amen. So, so, so you were there, and, and did you were you uh, figured in there in, in Florida? WCW? I, I, no. Okay, no. This or the apartment or WCW? No. I, were you? I'm sorry. We're we're jumped ahead. Are you? Were you written into the shows in Florida Championship Wrestling? Uh, yes, yeah, Steve. My first match was against Mike Awesome, okay. uh, RIP, and uh, I was going to do a job for him because he was at my wrestling class. 
uh, there were some other guys, but it was me, Mike Austin, and Dustin Rhodes. Okay. We're, the, you know, we're the three that made it out. Yeah. And uh, my first match was uh, was uh, Mike in in a house show, and he forgot to kick out, so I won. <laughs> then my, wow. Yeah. Yeah. And hey, then my first match. Uh, That's who I get yeah, confused first. with, Mike Knox. No, I heard awesome. you were talking about that on the live thing before yeah. when I yeah I get went confused my, uh, with Mike Awesome, man. Yeah, yeah no. so your first match was with him and he forgot to kick out. Right, to kick out. Yeah. <laughs> Did you win like the title or anything? Oh God, no, dude. We, no, yeah, you no, had to no, work no. the next week. I told you. Like, yeah, Mike Graham. Uh, Steve had the belt, and then my second match with Steve. I was like so excited because I'm born and raised. Uh, here in Clearwater, Tampa, Florida. Yeah. So in the 70s, when I was like five, my grandparents and them took us to, uh, we would go to the Sportatorium in Tampa on Tuesday night and watch the TV. And then we would go Wednesday night to Fort Homer Hessler Armory to watch the things. I've got pictures wow. of uh, me and my brother when we were little with, uh, you know, Steve and Mike with Jack and Jerry Briscoe and all that. When I did the Briscoe awesome. thing, he said, uh, you know, you're the only one besides my brother, Jack, <clears throat> that actually said they were retiring and left and never came back. He goes, so you guys got that in common. I said, dude, anytime you want to compare me to Jack Briscoe, I will tell you. Yeah. I think you both smoked a ton of weed, too. So Yes. You oh, got dude, that. speaking you of got that, that I, just, I just had a lunch last week or last Monday. <laughs> Steve called me with, uh, we went to Briscoe's house, and it was Briscoe. Me, Kern, Big Show, Scott Casey. Oh, I saw a Jay picture. Marinko. I saw yeah, a picture yeah. of you guys. Yes, and I wondered, yeah. like, how did that picture come about? You know what I mean? Like, that was a... Yeah. Steve and really? Jerry. Yeah, Steve and Jerry keep us all together, yeah. That's so cool, man. That's leadership, oh, yeah. right? That's not locker room yeah. leadership. That's oh, lifestyle. Yeah. That's life leadership. Wow, that's no, super Steve cool, calls man. Me his other son, so I just couldn't be, you know, happier. And Jerry, I found out I had Jerry, me and Henry had Jerry's uh, last match. Oh, no, it was me and this. Had Jerry uh, Briscoe's uh, last wrestling match ever. Because y'all wow. were horrible and he quit? Yeah, he said, fuck yeah. this, I quit. <laughs> Oh, I'm done. <laughs> oh my lord. So, so let's man, I could do this all day. So, so yeah. let's so you so you then you got to uh WCW. How did you and Mark yes. get hooked up? Okay. Uh my stepdad, uh who met my mom through uh when I was wrestling was Ron Slinker. He was like yep. a local wrestler. I mean, Brian knows him very well. Yep. Brian had to help me one day. He he had a uh bad you know he would shoot up drugs like towards the end of his life he was a big junkie and he just showed up one day at uh at tampa tv and you know i i'm the nicest guy in the world and i was like you know brian never left my side when he was you know just being a a, a, a junkie around everybody and i was just yeah. trying to be be cool but then he met my mom and ron was the greatest guy in the world except for the you know except addictions the, which, yeah yeah we all had We've yeah there. i mean yeah, have I'm, I'm no quitter, so I don't know about you, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, this is gonna be great. Hey, yeah. so Slink, when are we starting? Okay, did I did you get that on Facebook? I saw, uh, I saw it was the main event was like uh, Ron Slinker versus. I think it was like Toro Tanaka, like Doctor, you know, uh, yeah, River Professor Toro just, Tanaka. I'm never on Facebook. I don't, I don't like Facebook. It's what evil. Are, what? <laughs> yeah, no, literally, I just do. Uh, Taker got me about a year and a half ago. He got me uh, started on Instagram. And through that, I mean, it's been awesome. I, I like I was literally talking to RVD yesterday. And yeah. even more important than that is I talked to uh, Georgia uh, Smith, Bulldog's daughter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just reconnected with uh, Ray Trailer with Big Boss Man's daughter. Yep, yep. Uh, I got all these guys. It's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, it is very That's cool. cool. Uh, yeah. But but do you, do you think it's the devil for real? Uh, I, every, <laughs> Mama said everything's the devil. <laughs> It's because uh, they got all them teeth and no tooth. Because they got all them teeth. <laughs> Colonel Sanders. So why did they? So yeah, why I'm did they? I'm not on drugs. I'm just. I was working outside. Hey, that's okay. I was. I was sweating a minute ago <laughs> because I am. 
I am on drugs. Yes, no, I, must, I am. It's a statin and a, yeah. <laughs> a, a cholesterol. Today, I took my uh, yeah, my Aberstatin and my Lysenopril <laughs> and my Metformin, dude. So I am like my cholesterol, my blood pressure, my blood sugar is like off the charts right now. I take every pill you just named. Yeah, we're old. <laughs> That's the truth. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, that. I know. After the second cardiac event, I figured it out. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. so, so, how did they hook you and Mark up? Like, how did okay. y'all get put together? Uh, we, I, I, we're doing Florida Championship Wrestling. Well, and Mark Canterbury. Uh, I just want to be. Uh, oh, yeah, Ron and, uh, and me drove up to Kennesaw, Georgia, Amen. to a uh, taping. And uh, Dusty uh, got me a dark match with Jump and Joey Mags. Mm. And uh, I was super nervous. I went out there first match. Apparently, I was like, oh, well, that went pretty good. Did my reverse DDT that I invented. Maybe you've heard of it. It's the <laughs> Scorpion Death Drop now. Stop drop, whatever. <laughs> Sorry, I don't like saying you can have it. And uh, the gorilla was I thought on the Michael Step was dead. dead. Yeah. The girl was on the other side of the building, and I would come back with Joey, and I'm like, how was that? You know, was that good? And Henry just happened to be standing there, and I talked to everybody. Yeah. And Dustin got up from Gorilla, went all the way around the building, and said, but I'm not going to do a Dusty impression because everybody does that. He Just said, do one anyway. Said, brother, let me tell you, that was great, baby. That was great. This right here is Mark Canterbury. We're going to put him under a mask because he's too pretty. I'm going to make you do a tag team. That night, me and Henry went back to the Ramada in Atlanta. Oh, Had a you? female visitor and uh, was us too. And that no. was the first night that we met. And then up until <laughs> he broke his team. neck. Yeah. And yeah, then good. up until he broke his neck. We were together 24 hours a day and maybe the only tag team that I've ever heard of that have never been in an argument, never had a crossword. I mean, dude, we are the epitome of tag team. We still, I mean, I literally talk to him like every other day. I, I love that guy to death. Hey, yeah, look, I at was, that. I, I look, look at that. I was just, yeah, look at that, I was older man. 23 than I do now. <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. Yeah, man, look, you look at look pretty a lot, You look a lot like, uh, oh, what was that? Joel D. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. You were thinking Pitt? Yeah. My bad. Yeah. My bad. Yeah, Joel Deaton and Pitt. I get them confused. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, dude. I was just a dumb kid back then. I mean, he can tell you. I was drinking about four fifths of Wild Turkey 101 a week. Yeah, for a while. And, a uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he maybe had more. one, maybe he had one in his boot. There was always one in his boot. Yeah. So, yeah. You always yeah, had one of those this big bar that we kind of ran because they had this. Uh, we did this. It was like Shotgun Saturday Night, but for WCW. And me and Henry were kind of like the the local boys at the country bar, and we did the matches. And I would walk in, and the bartender would give me a, a pint glass <laughs> full of ice, and like four shots of wild turkey, and a giant uh, mind eraser shot. And yeah, I drank my ass yeah, off back he then. Drank. He drank. Yeah. <laughs> I did a little bit of everything. I was but not, I, didn't, uh, I always waited till we were done. And uh, you know I did. Now I just uh, I hardly even no, no, he didn't. That was his problem. <laughs> yeah. No. I, oh, I, I, okay. All right. Okay, wait, okay, here we go. I this I've never okay, told I, this story. And uh it's it's uh it probably you, not the best story for me, but anyway. <laughs> okay, so, so we was going I'm so, Midian at the time, so, and uh, me and Brian were traveling together, and uh, Brian was angry at something, and him and Tracy, who I asked out before he even saw it, and she blew me off and went to Brian, so you're welcome. Uh, so we were in the back, and Brian was going, he, him and Tracy were fighting about something, and he throws his phone like towards the wall like he did all the time. Those phones were indestructible back then. And I like literally just stuck my hand out and caught it. And he grabs it out of my hand and throws it on the ground. And then we had these sweet tarts that had LSD dropped on them. Sure. As and does. Brian was of so mad. Did. Yeah, of course we did. Uh, Brian was so mad uh, he wasn't working or something that he starts taking them on another one. And another one. I'm like, Brian, stop. He goes, if you want me to stop, you better take him then. And I was like, fuck. So I'm like, okay, we're doing the ministry thing. And all we're doing is carrying Stephanie McMahon. You know, I don't know if you've heard of her. 
I'll, I'll, uh, Undertaker symbol so she can get married. And before this, we walk through and it was just like, boom, and then Stone Cold's going to hit the ring. We're all going to powder. Who's going to hit Taker? Boom, they're gone. I'm like, okay, I could probably handle this because I don't want him to take like 10 hits of acid. So I took like three hits and I'm like, okay. So we go out there and then uh, I'm like, that's all we're going to do. Carry her out, get out of the ring, no problem. So Vince walks us all through it. And afterwards, Austin goes, <laughs> Hey, you know what would be cool is if I hit the ring, I knock the other guys, everybody takes the powder, you and me, trade, boom, boom, boom. And then I go to take her, he peels off outside, you spin around, I go at you again, I hit you with a chair, you go down, I stun you, blah, blah, blah. And it's just starting to kick in. And I'm like, okay. So I did the 70 McMahon marriage to Undertaker. Head full of acid and didn't miss a beat. <laughs> Nailed it. Hey, Nailed it. As far as I know, know, the lights were so pretty. That was. <laughs> <laughs> we just that, found that, that is, that You're was, not even in it. That's that, the story, <laughs> that story is the Attitude Era in a nutshell. You know what I mean? Like, like it's totally. That's the oh. one we could tell, dude. We there was we would come to TV and there was a guy who had this stuff and everybody would get it and they would go to the bathroom and <laughs> blah blah blah, and then still just tear the house down. Yeah, and poop. So yeah, and poop. our drugs bad? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they they can be in yes. excess i would imagine yeah. so what was you, your quote what was your quote yeah drug being a drug addict is only bad at the end <laughs> yeah. oh it only yeah. sucks at the end being a drug addict only sucks at the end like that's yeah, i the, was very lucky in not i mean i did everything but i would wait till the you know till after work and uh i could get up and do you know i, I really never you know didn't have that addictive gene that like I mean, like, kid and that was like, you know, bam, 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 before the matches, bam, bam, bam. I'm like, oh, no, just wait. Well, actually, I'm going to chalk that up to uh, Henry because yeah. he always, I always had him, you know, and yeah. I, I didn't want to disappoint him yeah. or Undertaker. And uh, the bad influence over there yeah. was uh, was the only one that I got to play with. It was me. Yeah. I was I the bad. I was pointing to. I thought, wow, he's heard of me. <laughs> it yeah. was it was me for sure. No, so I was pointing you, to Taker. He's sitting right there. Did you? <laughs> did you? <laughs> did you, did like, you and yeah. Mark y'all won the tag titles in WCW, didn't you? Never. No. What? Two or, times WCW or, or WWE. That was it. Yeah. Well, that's still saying something. I, I thought y'all won, but y'all were a great tag team. Oh, dude, I mean, we you guys were every were night. Great we were with the Horsemen. We were with Steamboat and Shane. We were, you yeah. know. Yes. I, I said something the other day. I was like, dude, I'm 23 years old in WCW with Arn. You know, traveling with Arn, Bobby, Brad Armstrong, uh, the Horsemen. Barry uh, Wyndham. Like, oh, man, you just, know, just such my a, idol. Such a know? great class of yeah class wrestlers you know what i mean yeah. like that's and and that's what you're saying when you say you were on the road and working with those guys those guys wanted to work with you you know what i mean those guys yeah. said, please put us with those guys uh, which they didn't do a lot of people yeah, yeah cole twins yeah. ice train brian james <laughs> yeah all yeah. of those people that's a true Tom Brandy. <laughs> Sal that's true Sal that's a true Who'd you statement win the traps from body donna's right uh, yes, first time Body Donna, second time one of my favorite teams I've ever worked with, uh, Headbangers. Love those guys. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah, they're, hey, they're great, ain't they? But, 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 awesome. but so easy for me to say. Both great guys yeah. and, and great worker, like always had great matches with them. Ne never had yeah. a stinker. Or I, I never thought we had yeah, a stinker. Yeah. Meltzer would no, probably well, you, make you the were awesome, yeah. You and Billy, I really wish we got to spend a little bit more time with, but. Amen. You know. Amen. Me too, yeah. man. Me too, because I remember one time I hit you so Just hard. Just in the ring, because we had enough outside of the ring time to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank God we we're still here. Uh, and I yeah. do, want to talk, do want to talk about that for sure. Um, so, so, but you won the tag titles twice in WWE. So what, and then you talked about going and, uh, and do, yeah, you guys were great. You And then you did the mule kick. Like that was. Well, yeah. I, yeah, we were, we were uh, out before a house show or something. And I just started doing that thing where like 
uh, Chris and Tommy would put me in the corner and they would like double team me. And then I would go and have a spell where I would like elbow punch, elbow punch. And then Hefner would like feed in and I would swing at him. I was having a fit. <laughs> yeah. And then I was out there during uh, the day and uh, Taker was talking to me and I was like, wait a minute. And I like jumped down onto my hands and I kicked my feet up because I saw it in like a hee haw or something. And he goes, That was ridiculous. Do it tonight. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> that Hunter sounds... was the only person that wanted me to hit him with it. I said, Dude, I can't control it. He goes, like, I have no I'll idea. Control it. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> did, you, did he hit it? Did you hit it with it? Oh, yeah. He, he got you? it. Hunter. Oh, nice. yeah, yeah. So, so I, I would, yeah, I would have wanted to take it too, uh, just yeah. because I think it was great. And you, yeah. oh man, you could have, hey. Yeah, so and then I would dive out of the ring like the night we won the belt in Madison Square Garden. Henry still talks about this. I did the flip out, did the mule kick. I went after Hepner. He went through the ropes. I dove through the ropes onto the floor, and then I would run around chasing somebody. And Henry would legit run and like just full bore tackle me to the ground <laughs> and that night was like one of the best it was like calming me down and then he would like yeah. hold me down and everything <laughs> and then what would he do when he held you down yeah i would like <laughs> look around <laughs> what's going on and then he would pull what, me in the ring what, and I'd go, yeah. so so <laughs> now, then you talked about being a, a sous chef uh, uh, not a sous, yeah. i'm sorry not a sous <laughs> chef a, that's a way chef. later yeah, yes. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, when I uh, did the Midian thing, and then uh, I didn't oh, really have I, miss, any... I skipped yeah. my, first, my yeah. favorite okay. one. Yeah, we right. skipped that. Well, naked say, Midian. Skipped yeah. Oh, yeah, Naked Midian. Yeah, yeah, you know how that happened? Uh, Kurt Angle, we would call him Naked Man because after his matches, he would just stand around, you know, naked, go to the shower for a while. And then we were in, uh, in like. Just yeah, naked, in man. like uh, Long Island. And, and Vader, I said, I Vader said, was yeah, better than that. I'm going to get him. I said, I'm going to wait. I was on like first. So I go and then I come back and I get undressed. I put a towel on and I'm standing around the locker room. Kurt is on like second to last. To last. So I am not getting dressed. No, I'm not saying anything to anybody. And then Kurt comes back and he's talking and then he goes in and takes a shower. He comes back on and he pulls his underwear up and I drop my towel and I go, I am a naked man. And then Lanza comes and goes, hey, we need somebody for a meet and greet. And I threw on my couch and I walked down to the hallway like, where is this meet and greet? <laughs> oh, my God. And then I get to see you the next day. And they go, oh, Vince wants to talk to you. And I'm like, I haven't done anything yet. I didn't do anything yet. I'm sorry. I just got and here. He goes, yeah, I just got here. He goes, uh, <laughs> so, uh here you uh, were running through the uh, building naked last night. I was like, well, I wasn't running. You know, I don't really run. <laughs> but, uh, he was like, well, I was thinking about having you run through a match. And, you know, it's so funny because that's all I ever get, you know, that's all anybody ever talks about. And uh, they were like, oh, you know, that must have been terrible. I was like, okay, this is 98, <laughs> 99. I'm getting my head kicked in by Vader and yeah. all of these guys every single night. You know, Henry was the, was the uh, it was like Billy and Brian. Yeah. Henry was the muscle and we were the, the entertainers <laughs> yeah. and the bumpers. The ping pong balls. Yeah, P exactly. And uh, <laughs> I was like, I got paid the exact same amount of money for like eight months to run to the ring in my fanny pack and back. <laughs> and that was it. I was like, there you go. Oh, Look. There he yeah. is, baby. Tell me yeah. that's not the best. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. I was I was traveling with Bossman and Terry was... Reynolds. Yeah, I was traveling with Bossman and Terry Reynolds, and Ray goes, "Hey, boy, you know you should probably get a tan and work out a little bit." I'm like, "You're not getting it." And Terry goes, "No, it wouldn't be funny yeah. if he looked good." That's not. That's, like, that's, yeah, not yeah. The, that's not the joke. Yeah, that's Man. not the joke. So, so, did you ever have a match as Naked Midian? Yeah, uh, with Steve Regal. Really? Uh, oh, yeah, mankind. Yeah, pay per view, brother. Uh, <laughs> mankind is the general manager, and he came, and we did this little thing where I was sitting naked in the locker room, <laughs> and uh, he was like, you know, I had like stuff on, you know. He's like, you should take everything off. I was like, okay. So <laughs> we're doing the thing. I'm sitting in the chair, and my legs crossed, completely naked, and yeah. he goes, I'm gonna drop my clipboard. He goes, you know, because nobody knew I was really naked, you know. And he goes, I'm going to drop my clipboard at the end. And I go, oh, okay, I'll pick it up. 
and he goes, oh, no, no, and he drops it. And I literally stand up and bend over, pass right to Nick's face. And I go, <laughs> he popped for it. And he's like, I can't have you doing that. You have a match on the paper with Steve Ringo, but you have to wear clothes. So I had the tearaway pants and I had my pouch under the ring yeah. and uh, I had a, a tank top on. So he did something, threw me out. I grabbed it. And then he was uh, in the ring and he turned around and I'm there and I ripped my pants off. And as Regal turned around, who is the best facial expressions yeah. in wrestling history, there you go. <laughs> he turns around, I grab him by the face, kiss him, and then do something and go climb to the top rope like that. And he hits it, I fall in, and he goes to do the Regal stretch where he has to climb on top of me naked. And he's like, uh, uh, so then he just puts me out of his in that break. Oh, who's oh the best? Oh, my God. Regal is the Teddy best. Was that Teddy Long yeah. in the stripes? What, it wasn't <laughs> Was it? Oh, yeah. Oh, my, yeah, probably up. was. Yeah. Pro yeah, yeah, there yeah, you go. Oh, my Look at st um, but Look at that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Just right there on the small of the back. Just too, the best. Like, hey, let me let me ask you this, Tex. Were you were you did you care about doing that at all, or is there, or did you just think no. it was fun? Oh my God! Yeah, no. At that time, I had been wrestling since 1998, and luckily, never had any seriously injuries and i yeah. always say these big muscle guys always getting broken me brian cactus we were like jelly we could like just turn <laughs> into like jelly at the time and go with the bump and so yeah. i had like 18 years of like 260 280 days in a row yeah. memphis territory florida territory you know everywhere so yeah. i was like burnt out and uh and i had the greatest compliment um who I love John Cena. Yeah. Uh, he's, New he's, Year's Eve. What's not to love? What's not to love? Yeah. New Year's Eve, uh, when you had me come there to see everybody in Tampa, yeah. uh, I was walking in the back and John was sitting there signing stuff. And John was there the night of my last match, which yeah. was uh, MVP's dark match with him. And uh, I was walking by and, you know, this was like a few months ago. So this is like super John Cena. Yeah. And I was like, he signed stuff for, for like one of the guys there. He signed a stack of pictures. I was like, Hey, I stopped. I was like, fuck it. I was like, Hey John, Hey, it's me. He goes, Oh, hell yeah. You he goes, yeah, I was there your last month. I was like, Oh, fuck. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And I was like, dude, I just want to say, I've seen some videos of like him doing the make a wish. And yeah. I said, we've got so many crappy people in this business. <laughs> I said, you honestly, and I was almost tearing up. I said, you make me proud to call myself a wrestler. You're an awesome yeah. guy, you know? Yeah. And he hugs me and everything. And he like, almost like, like Godfather's me holds my face. And he was like, you know what? I loved about you more than anyone. He goes, you never took yourself too seriously. I was like, Dude, this is real. It's like I got into an argument with Animal one night when we were working with him. <laughs> the only tag team to ever get complained about the Road Warriors complained about us being too rough with them. Yeah, well, well. And Animal looks at me and goes, "What's your record?" And I went, "Are you fucking? Do you know your record?" <laughs> he was like, "What are you talking about?" I'm like, "Dude, this shit isn't real." <laughs> oh, bless his heart. Oh, yeah, oh. No, dude, yeah. we're, we're, we're circus folks, you know, we're yeah. characters. Yep. I yep. was on full contract in WCW, and I went with my best friend right there to an Alpharetta auction barn, put on a hood because he yep. didn't have anybody to wrestle. And I'm on TV working with the horsemen and shit. So yeah. I'm in this little <laughs> auction barn, We've and he hits me, the I take barn. Bar, break my rib. I can't go and tell him that I fucking broke my rib. So then I had to, you know, wrestle kind of with a broken rib. I yeah. broke my ankle and kept wrestling. And Bill Watts was like, where to go, kid? Where to go? I'm like, yeah. yeah. Well, no, dude, at least crazy. you approve. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Oh, right. I didn't talk about blood. The orthopedic doctor has a different yeah. opinion. But, uh, but thank uh, you, Bill. No, but I, I, uh, I grew up, you know, five years old, you know, going to – to West or to Mall in Tampa to meet Dusty Rhodes, you know yeah. this was this is what I wanted to do, and I was fortunate enough to do it to get at to the best it, time man. ever with the greatest people ever. Yeah, so. yeah, that's I, look. I feel the same way, man. I, yeah. I today is a great day to be a wrestler and a wrestling fan and all that. Yeah, but it. but uh, I don't know, man. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have survived as, as long as I did, and I didn't survive that long. Uh, yeah. 
just because. You know what I mean? It's different. Today's yeah. different. Half the things you've yeah. talked about us doing are, uh, yeah. are frowned upon oh, now. God. You know what I mean? Yeah, and and that was just the, that was just Monday morning story. You know what I yeah. mean? Like that was yeah. that was so. Anyway, I want to backtrack a little bit. You said uh, John was there for your last match. Your last match was a dark match for MVP. When was that, and why was that? 2003. I had they uh, Jr. called me and said, "Hey, your contract's coming up. We love you. Vince loves you." He goes, "But we're not going to renew it." But Vince likes you a lot, and he goes, "Vince said, would it be okay?" if we just paid you for another year and you didn't have to, you know, come to work. And I was like already kind of into the, the cooking world. Yeah. And I was like, Oh, that's awesome. I said, you guys are coming to Tampa. Can I have my last match, you know, in a, in a WWE ring and 2003, I wrestled the MVP in his dark match. And then the next time I ever stepped into a ring was undertaker's uh, retirement at survivor series. I'll be wow. dang. Yeah. Yeah. Me and wow, Jack Briscoe, you know, me and Jack Briscoe. <laughs> uh, you guys well, cut from the same cloth. Just, just cut from yeah. the same wrestling cloth anyway. Yeah. I've seen Funny it. enough, we also had a body shop. We didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was I get I get we we had a body shop, it was a front for the cocaine. Uh, uh, there you go. <laughs> um so your last Where match. Yeah, you okay. Hey guys, Double J, Jeff Jarrett. Need to call a timeout real quick here. I wanted to tell your listeners what I've been telling my world listeners for a while now. It's about all the incredible things happening over on adfreeshows.com. The debut of Tuesday with the Taskmaster is here, exclusively on Adfree Shows. Kevin Sullivan shares stories of his 50 plus years in the business, including the night the business changed forever. The night he turned heel, he stayed at my house. His agent came. I had a three-bedroom house at the time on the beach, and I wouldn't let the agent have a room. I gave Hulk a room, and we didn't leave till the first match was in the ring. We got in his limo and drove down. I was so afraid someone was going to change, change his mind. And I've heard a lot of things that it might have been Sting, it might have been Big V. I didn't have a second choice. It would have to be Hulk. On a new edition of The False Finish, Conrad is joined by none other than Glacier as he breaks down how the Glacier character came to be and the memorable vignettes leading up to his debut. I enjoyed doing the vignettes. Uh, I felt like it was um, a chance for me to show off that martial arts side uh, that I had had, you know, and it was something that I was very passionate about. And now, yeah, you know, my two loves of pro wrestling and martial arts were being combined together. So, so I was all in. Hey, that's just a small taste of what AdFree Shows has waiting for you, including a brand new perk, getting to join in on the live recordings of the shows with four levels to choose from. See for yourself why AdFree Shows is the best value in wrestling today. Sign up now at AdFreeShows.com. That's right. Sign up today at AdFreeShows.com. Let's talk about w or USWA. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. But but I don't remember a lot of it. So yeah, me neither. So it'll oh. be even better. Okay. I always so wanted to write this book, and, and like I read a lot, a lot of philosophy, a lot of religion, a lot of shit like that. And I love this thing called uh, stories with the unreliable narrator. So it's like the Elton John movie where it's like, oh yeah, I was doing the concert, and the next thing you know, I was floating above the ring, and I was going, yeah. and I'm like, that would so be you know my story. Yeah. And we. Uh, <laughs> In between WCW and WWF, Brian and Jeff had just walked out, and Brian called me uh, to come up to work USWA with him. So we did some, you know, we went to hotels and shit, and to this day, one of the nicest and my favorite people in the entire world was Jill Jarrett, Jeff's Amen. past wife, uh, RIP. Yep. Yep. So she goes, hey, you and Brian gave us money. Go see a movie. <laughs> So we're like, okay, so we went to see a movie. We come we, back. We weren't making she, any money in Memphis. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So and we go see it. a movie, come back, and she has rented us a, uh, uh, it's like a, a a second house next to a house like under a mother garage. In, like a mother-in-law yeah. apartment okay, yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah. So we go out and come back, and this saint of a woman has 
decorated the entire place for us and was like, here. And they even got me a car that Brian tried to steal the night I left uh, to go to <laughs> WWF. Yeah. So we a, this apartment Brian. that night, and we, you know, take things and everything. And uh, so they had this weird room with a closet that had steps up into the closet. So yeah. we're like, oh, let's go exploring. We were on uh, other acid. We were on acid. Of, yeah, okay, acid, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. Oh, we said it a lot, this yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So we're tripping balls, and we go and we sit, <laughs> we go and sit in this closet, and we're like, and Brian says something, and I'm like, he goes, I just saw something. I go, I did too. I go, what'd you see? He goes, I saw this, like, devil man standing over this woman with his hand down. I go, I finished the exact same thing that he said. And that's we get up statement. and we walk out. He goes, that's your room. And I go, all right. <laughs> That's right. Hey, the the closet. Yeah, for, for, I don't know why we walked in the closet and sat down and closed the door. Uh, yeah. And you were like, tripping. we don't have to go and, back right you know, now. Yeah. I was like, that big dude with the knife was hot. Yeah. We saw. I swear to God, we saw the exact the same, same thing. thing. And that's the truth. That's the truth. That like we truth. both freaked out of course we were on yeah. acid you gotta you gotta, oh, you we, gotta had so much fun yeah. we had that, so much fun at that time man yes, we, we, we would go did. to this little video store and we still talk about it i sent him this thing mm -hmm. we rented this movie called shocking asia it was like shocking a tour asia. of all the weird uh things in asia they had major they had major wrestlers shot this guy off he landed <laughs> on his forehead and slid across <laughs> the entire ring it was amazing. And they had like six they still, operations. They still, they still, that's still out there somewhere. And yeah. it's the best. It's the, it looked in the middle of yeah. the ring, they have like a logo. So it's kind of yeah. slick right there. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so he gets the guy like licks his hand and smacks him on the head and yeah. then shoots him. And he like does an Irish whip to land on his head and just slides across the ring. It was the dangest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Dom we had to... no money, but people would stop by and give us presents all the time. That's all yeah. we really needed. We were That's all we needed. Yeah. We're some... <laughs> we had each other and the demon. Yeah, the demon man, the murder man no. in the closet. Shocking like, Asia, 1974. Oh. It is now banned in Finland due to its graphic content. Hey, it should be banned. Oh, Finland's a bunch everywhere. of persons. <laughs> oh, that's all you say. Charlie, Charlie, oh. Charlie bit me. Charlie bit my finger. <laughs> hey, oh my God. Okay, so what I want to ask you now is you're still sweating. You're, in the, out. Out. you're <laughs> in the comfort of your own home. Dude. Okay, I'll tell you why. Because oh, I live in Florida, out, Florida. <laughs> and it's it's dude the other you know eight forty five <laughs> nine o'clock at night. It's yeah. ninety some 90. degrees. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, last Tuesday and Wednesday were the two hottest days on earth in recorded history. Not even joking. The water in Tampa Bay was 95 degrees. But Germany, there's no such thing as climate change. It's, so, it's, you know. it's, it's called global warming. Texas. Yeah. I worked with a member out of Texas. Uh, global yes. warming. Yes. Lance Russell. <laughs> Corey Macklin. Corey Macklin. Oh, Corey I, was Macklin saw, yeah. I saw a promo of me and Corey Macklin the other day. It made me think of Brandon Baxter. Uh, yeah. Remember Brandon Baxter? Yeah. Yeah. From I saw a Randy picture Hale. of him. And, yeah, Randy Hales and him. I saw a picture of them on Facebook. But so yeah, USWA was great times for me. I great mean, I, I know we were broke as broke can be, <laughs> but. We had yeah. this place to stay. We had a vehicle that we were driving yeah. to back and forth to shows. And I don't know, man, it was, was good time. For Jerry Garrett, and he would like let us come to his house. And yeah, we, we, <laughs> we were, it's like when Henry left too, it was like big show. I was just talking to show about this. I was like big show and, and Vader, all these guys, like they were kind of grumpy gusses. So nobody yeah. wanted to ride with them. So they were like, hey, Brian, text. Ride with us. I'll pay for everything. Just <laughs> and we're like, okay, there's no problem. Yeah. yeah. So I did that. Uh, my first time in USWA was like in '90, before anywhere, yeah. and that's when I was Leatherface uh, with with one of my best friends in the world, Chris Candido and Tammy. We were yeah. all living together in a hotel room, and uh, I was Leatherface. And my mom came to a show there, and 
uh, it was in Memphis, and Lawler was working with somebody, and he just got the one, two, three. And then out of the locker room, you hear me hit this chainsaw. It's like, boom, and we hooked it so it was, like, very smoky. Yeah. And I was, like, leather-faced through the crowd, and I get into the ring, and Lawler is, like, in the corner, and he tries to get out, and I go, Err. and he goes this way, and I go, Err, this way. Err. I back him into the corner. And then I, like, do the Texas chainsaw thing. I hold the chainsaw up and just, rrr, 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 and yeah. then I let go of the clutch, and the chainsaw stops. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and he slowly pulls that strap down and commenced to whoop in my ass. <laughs> it was the best. And my mom told some kids, like, that's my son. I was doing leather face and tex at the same time. Your kid really? sucks. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, oh, and then I, I get pulled into the locker room. Is your mom out there telling people you're Leatherface? I'm like, oh, I don't know. I'm just here, Larry, Jerry, Larry, Barry. Oh, no. Let me ask you this. Did you know Mr. Coffee from that? Was, oh, he, there, was yeah. he there that time in 90? Yeah, back then because uh, I was broke. <laughs> yeah. The story. And uh, Red Man was our sponsor. And Mr. Coffee would like, Collect Jerry would like keep all the red man dip because he dipped too. Yeah. And I did and Mr. Coffee would sneak me cans all the time <laughs> and give me like yeah. They do it he was like, a, yeah, he was a great yeah. man. He was the best. And I'm it was like me and several other people as my partner against Robert Fuller and Jeff Jarrett when they yeah. had the belt. And uh they were like Megan Bonnie driving around in the Cadillac and yeah. At the Admiral Benbow Inn in Memphis, if you checked in at 6 a.m., you would get it all day and that night. Yeah. So I would get the bus to Dallas two nights. I would get uh, Brick House, let me stay with him one uh, one night a week. So you. for two nights a week, I pretty much had to wait. So I was, it's a great story. I would sit at the Kmart and Jeff would always like, cause he was like, oh, he was such a kind man. He would throw me a bad pop of Keystone. Like, here you go, kid. And then drive off to his mansion. So I'm sitting there and Chris and Tammy, Chris and Tammy are driving up and Tammy's like, no, no, don't go up there. There's a homeless guy. I'm sitting there for hours. And I had all these keystones like surrounding me, like you know, my little wall. Like a shrine. Yeah. And then, like, there's a homeless guy. And Chris goes, that's not a homeless guy. It's true. <laughs> so, you know, and, and, like, I was homeless for two nights a week. Yeah. And they were like, I mean, oh, my God, how did you do that? And I go, wrong. I had a blast, dude. <laughs> I don't get it. That's the truth. That's the truth. Yeah. Oh, my Lord. So, so, God Almighty. So, when we were God there, what was it? What was it, 95? Uh, Yes, me and you. Uh, No, because I started with Henry in 95, so it was... End of 93, 94. 94. Man, that's yeah. looking, even that's uh, dead gum 20, uh, 30 years ago. You yeah. know what I mean? Like 30 years ago. So We're old, dude. I'm in my 40s. <laughs> I know. Bless your heart. What are you laughing at? No, I was, <laughs> laugh, was just laughing. Uh, hey, when's your birthday? May the 20th. Oh. Uh, oh. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> oh, I forgot you were there, Cassie. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> Uh, no. I like to yes, some cardboard paper. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's the uh, day after Christmas. So we were like, uh, you know, we were same year, just a few months apart. So you're okay. older than me. Yeah. Are you 69 or 68? I <laughs> <do>. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't funny till you did that. And then, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then you popped. Just keep going, dude. If they're not yeah, laughing, yeah, yeah. keep going. Keep going. Laugh. Keep going. You keep rolling. Look, if we're going to hit that car. <laughs> If we're going to hit that tree, let's do it at 100 yeah. miles an hour. Uh, and, Speaking of that, yeah. uh, Stone Cold, the Austin story. Go ahead. Yeah. I'll let you take this so, one. So I don't remember much of it, but I do remember, <laughs> like, he had a, a driveway that went, yeah. I don't remember prior to or I just okay. Well, we would go out to Austin's ranch every yeah. once in a while, which is probably about an hour and a half from our place in Marietta. Yeah. So we went out there, and, and I busted the tire, so we put the donut on, and we're just <laughs> Annihilated. We were, we were right. messed up, and he and Big we time. one of us backed we, off of the. He yeah. had one of those driveways with a tube under it, so water could go through it. So there was a yeah. ditch next to it. So we ran. We didn't make the driveway and hit that and busted yeah. our tire. And so but we that put, didn't so, stop us, did it, buddy? Know. No, it did not. So <laughs> this is the, this is the point of the story. Brian passes out. 
We're going down the road. Brian, like, wakes up. He goes, are we going 120 on a donut tire? And I go, yeah. He goes, no. He goes back to sleep. Yeah. That's a true story, too. Yeah. I figured I may as well get some rest to die. Right. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. If you're going to die, I hear rest. Passes, if you're limp, it, it doesn't hurt as much. <laughs> Don't like the jelly. That was him being yeah, nice. Look, look, back look the that's jelly. a fact. Yeah. <laughs> so didn't, fact. was that the night? That was the night I got arrested. And then I spent two days in jail until oh. I went, oh, shit. Hey, Brian. There's yeah. like two grand in my in my closet. When you come bail me out, I just stayed he, there for a couple he, days. He forgot that he had a bunch of cash in his yeah. soup, in his jacket pocket in his thing. So he sat in jail for two days. Here to set his house. And he said, "Hey, will you go get me that bail money?" Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my gosh. It was I don't think anybody else could have done the stuff that we done together, Brian, me and no. you. I mean, no, and all the other stories with other people are scary, and ours are, you know, fun scary, you know, yeah, not no, like... No, you know, ours, are, ours are terrifying, to be yeah. quite honest. I tell this yeah. story a lot, and I may and I may mess it up, but but I but I, I felt like I, I may be onto something. Ben Stiller. What yes. did we do with Ben Stiller? We got high with him in the parking garage of uh, one of the buildings. The okay. only time I ever got in trouble in WWE was when we heard Yoko died. Me, yeah. Brian, Kid, and Godfather yeah. went out to smoke one for Yoko in the parking garage. Yeah. So we're all like, oh, we got away with it. We come back in. JR calls us in. He's like, oh, are you guys smoking? Like, what? No, why? No. He goes, you guys were smoking right under the camera in the parking <laughs> garage. The security guards watched the entire thing. So that was the only time I got fined. You know, I got, I just had yeah. to work for like two weeks without getting paid. Yeah. And it was, okay, so. yeah. Smoke yeah, smoke yeah. Okay. Who cares? Yeah. Who cares? Take my money. That's how I always felt when they were yeah. just fining me. Two, I was days like, later, J yeah. two days later, JR asked me to get him some weed because him <laughs> and Jim were going on. I was like, really? And you're still going to fucking not let me get paid? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I like oh, JR. Well. Oh, well. Huh? Did you get it for him? Oh, of course not. <laughs> Dude, I, yeah, I, I, I say this I'm the nicest guy literally I try to be you know if I go outside I want to make whoever's day I meet you know I just get along I, I get these interviews and people talk to me at conventions they're like oh what'd you think of you know oh what'd you think of this guy I was like I loved him oh yeah well what about this one I was like no nah, I loved him you know it's like <laughs> yeah, literally, yeah. I go along with everyone you know, and it didn't help. It didn't hurt being six, seven, three hundred pounds, and having Henry on my side either. Yeah, I was going to go to that next. Is like, right. I follow you on Facebook, and I know you say you're not on there very much, but I did read about the uh, a, a book you're writing or a story you're writing yeah. or you're into. I'm like, writing I, a movie I know. With you, Shotzi. Say that again. Say it again. I'm, not, I'm writing uh, right now. I'm writing a movie. <laughs> I haven't been in wrestling in twenty some years. But I, in the last, just in the last like four days, I have uh, Damian Priest, Drew McIntyre, Shotzi, Liv. I, I talk to everybody. Everybody calls me. I'll yeah. send them little things. The key is never bug them, you know, or never, yeah. you know, they'll send you and ask you something. So me and Shotzi are kind of writing a horror movie, you yeah. know, with uh, wow. with uh, Carrie Ann and, and Scarlett. Yeah. Carrie Ann's like a, a, a psycho killer. And the movie is like, you know, when he's out killing, it's all like, black and gray and you know moody and dark and yeah. then when he comes home he opens the door and it's like a tv you know a sitcom yeah, 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 it's yeah. like bright lights, lights and everything and yeah. then like oh honey how was your day at work and scarlet walks by the kids and like slits their throat and you know <laughs> yeah. yeah i mean i yeah. get it those kids are irritating yeah yeah it to disney plus after this yeah yes yes, yes. yes. so yeah. so but but you are like wor working on and writing on what are what are some of your and it's, it's all kind of twisted well, in horror. Well, I just in wrestling, I have kind of a uh, kind of I, I my dream and like Taker always says, in the perfect world, what would you do? In yeah. the perfect world, I want to be the Paul Heyman of women's wrestler because it's always like oh the little girl manager and the big guy. Yeah. So I get the big old 
you know, scary, creepy guy where I have the backstory where I have Undertaker's blood in me, yeah. but I'm kind of crazy, so I can always lean on that. So I go and try to, you know, reenact uh, the ministry because, like, I've spent the last 20 years out of my life when I when I left WWE. When I left WWE, I, I didn't know what was going on. I was crazy. I was running around naked and everything. And then I got let go of the company. And then I just got cast down, like, into the pit with all these evil, horrible people. But I still had that light. I still had that, you know, that little light. So I was surrounded by all these monsters and all this evilness. But they could never get to me because I had that light until one day somebody took that light away from me. And then I became as evil and disturbed and just so much more vicious than any of them. And then the undertaker saw that and realized that wasn't why he got me and brought me my light back. And when he brought me my light back, that light shone into another light and that light's Lib Morgan. So I need to go and I need to make her the next kind of supernatural, but Let's based share. in reality, kind yeah. of a cult more so, there was a great movie with Nicolas Cage called Mandy, where it, it doesn't have to be because every freaking entrance is like a Black Sabbath video anymore, you know? Yeah. So kind of do it a little different with like a cult, uh, not a cult, but a cult where like Undertaker is the guy there, but you never see him until it's time, you know what I mean? Yeah. And he loves all this stuff. So, Hunter, if you're listening, because I know, you know, <laughs> there's 20, 20 I know. people that you have watching your show. <laughs> I know when, you, uh, when you're when you doing cardio, I know you watch this, Hunter. So, yes. Uh, you heard that, first and foremost, right here. Yes. Uh, but, look, that, that's totally awesome. Like, that would I was be, in. That's incredible. I was, yeah, I I was hooked. Have, yeah, I also have a uh, kind of a, it's kind of a Highlander thing with Drew McIntyre, like the movie where Sean Connery went to, you know, Drew has been doing all this stuff. But then, like, he's in trouble in the match or something, and I can come out and, like, recite philosophy and Scottish folklore, you know, into the microphone to fire him up, kind of turn him into, like, a berserker, yeah. as opposed to everybody's too baby face. Walk out, smack hands, blah, 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 blah. You know? You want some bad you know, guys. Yes, I want good bad guys. I want yeah. Stone Cold, Undertakers. And I, I just think uh, my, my main one is uh, called Trinity. It's the three. It's, uh, uh, I, I read a lot of religious stuff, uh, different kinds of religions, a lot of philosophy and everything. And I thought it would be perfect to have Liv, Scarlet, and Shotzi as the three, the Trinity. Wow. You know? Yeah. And, uh, you know, with the Undertaker in the background. And then I could take like Carrion and he would be like the acolyte. You know, he would just yeah, be yeah. the. Uh, the enforcer guy or something. I've got stuff with him. I I, I continue to uh, help out uh, Damian Priest, who, believe it or not, still answers my calls or still answers my texts and everything. Yeah. I love that fucking yeah, guy. He's, he's, a, he's awesome. a great. Yeah, he's a great human yeah. being. I literally were just was talking to him yesterday. Yes, yeah. that's what he I told him. He deserves everything but, he's getting. You know, I, I spent the last 20 years in a kitchen or driving my house is literally like I, uh, my the yacht club was at the end of Clearwater Beach. Uh, no traffic, maybe 10 minutes. But Clearwater Beach is the number one beach in the United States. So my seven, 10 minute drive on the weekends would take two hours. Yeah. So yeah. I would just get high and play all this music and fucking yeah. just do a promos in my head and verbiage. Yeah. What I didn't have when I was wrestling because I was wrestling and it was like, oh, God damn, you know, I was beat up and yeah. I just, I was a ping pong ball. I was like Brian said, yeah. you know, that's what I wanted to do. I was a good bumper. Yeah, you were. You took a that good was one. Of that, that, yeah. one of the stories he told a minute ago, I just hit him with a punch in a, yeah. in a match where he put that hood on and worked with him. And he took a, he took a bump over the top rope top and hit his ribs on the oh. side of an indie crappy indie ring <laughs> and broke WCW his ribs had a pad there yeah so i forgot <laughs> he said they had a pad there yeah <laughs> sammy kent at the alpharetta auction barn they seemed to forget that pad sammy kent sammy, sammy kent. kent hey so did did when you when you came there was was uh disco there at, for sammy uh, kent yeah. What about what about uh, uh? Oh, you mean the night with you? I went a few times with you. Oh, okay. I don't know if you uh, if you ever saw Disco there or New Jack. Uh, a lot of them Love guys worked in the. Another work. guy. 
I got along with New Jack so well. He would yeah. help me with promos. I went after WCW before I started cooking on that, like, eight months from leaving WWE at the time yeah. to totally retiring. I went down and did a show for d in Miami, and I get there, and everybody's coming up to me like, oh, my God, did you see the card? Did you see the card? I'm like, no. They're like, you're in a three-way hardcore match with Sandman and New Jack. What are you going to do? I'm like, I don't know. I haven't heard what they want to do yet. They're like, oh, my God, you better be careful. I'm like, why? And uh, I sit down, and I start to get dressed. Say, uh, Sandman and New Jack walk over to me, sit down in front of me, and go, what do you want to do, what sir? Do I was do? like, yeah. got him. I got yeah. you, motherfucker. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. You think I'm somebody. Yeah. I fooled your ass. Yeah, so I pull them all the time. That cigarette that I keep in my bag just to look like an old timer. <laughs> I'm not to I'm hey, not kidding, what do you, you, do? you had your singlet like around your thighs. Yeah. You're smoking yeah. a cigarette. Yeah, it sounds like uh, the bullet. I love it. I love, I love it, it to death. So, so, oh God. So what? So what I, know. Know. I don't even know. We got to have a part two here. We got to have a part two, yeah. right? Well, let me let me go and I'll be back and we'll do it again. <laughs> well, I, no, no, no. I meant like we'll schedule a, another one. Oh, <laughs> and come. Like at a different, yeah, yeah, different I'm, I'm night. Yeah. Spent two hours helping my neighbor. <laughs> hey, so, so, so me and Tex also did get hammered. And didn't the guy, oh no, that was me and Max. The guy came to the house and gave us tattoos. But me and you went and got our two tattoos oh, together. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> a spellbinding chronicle of rituals. Yes, Dominic, where you go? Hey, did you work in Mexico? I mean, in uh, Puerto Rico? Oh, uh, yes. I rest. Yeah. Oh, I worked in Puerto Rico about a year after Brody died, or maybe two years. Yeah. I wrestled the guy that stabbed Brody, and then I took a shower in the shower where the guy stabbed Brody at, and I was like, this is kind of cool. That's as long as I don't get stabbed, this is another good story. And, you know? and even if I do, it's a hell of a story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a hell, hey, hell yeah. It's all the that, layers. It was like when Nobbs got stabbed. He was too fat for it to hit anything. Didn't, didn't hurt nothing, really. Didn't hurt nothing. <laughs> With my luck, the guy'd have a K bar fighting yeah. knife and uh, oh, serrate my rib cage. Just um, die, motherfucker. <laughs> So, dude, yeah. Look, dude. So what we look, we gotta, we gotta get out of here. But we gotta get back together. We gotta do this again. Uh, there's so much we didn't even touch. There, there's so oh, much yeah, we man. didn't we, even touch. We've and got so, three more, four more, <laughs> five more stories. We at least, I mean, if shows, we can yeah. air all of those and I don't get fired, then we're gonna be good to go. <laughs> I would love to do it. I would love to come up to your place and do it like like across from you like live with you <laughs> live, like crossfire yeah. hey yeah. uh let me ask you one final question mm. yes sir here we go are you on mushrooms right now no i've been fucking helping my neighbor all goddamn day <laughs> hey, hold on no. hold on hold on wait wait uh, <laughs> Stay right there. I'll wait for two seconds. Okay. So let's look at the look at behind him. Let's look at the scene. Note the scene. It's a cross and the exorcist uh, picture Uh, right above him. That's the exorcist. Remember, that's the the doctor or the the priest or whatever. Look, I guess it was the doctor. Uh, (laughs) Yeah, he's still yelling. Yeah, these Uh, are uh, signed uh, Linda Blair pictures. Uh, This is signed by the author. That's the exorcist book that uh, when he died about four years ago, I got this when I was in WWE. It's worth like $2,000 now. Oh, mackerel. Yeah, and then I've got all my other scary stuff. I got my dolls. But it, it, I don't consider them like evil or, or like demony because I think The Exorcist is as much a Marvel movie as it is anything else because you have that ultimate evil, Thanos, the devil, and then you have the superheroes. Like the priests and everything, you know, yeah. coming. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, I'm yeah, sorry. The question should have been, am I on mushrooms? Yes. No. Okay. <laughs> so this, this, these people are making this uh, cannabis uh, named after me and Henry. Well, so we God. went out to this. Yeah, we went out to this cannabis convention a couple of weeks ago. Of course you did. It was crazy. It was in Syracuse, New York. And we went to this really beautiful old farmhouse. And there's like. 
15 different tables and at each table there's a giant jar of <laughs> all kinds of weed all kinds of mushrooms i'm like looking around for the cops they're like no no you're cool it's legal so i walk in and the dude like gives me some mushrooms so it was the greatest thing and then i spent we had this one mushroom that i was like obsessed with and they gave us a bunch of stuff and i was flying back but henry was was uh driving yeah. so uh I couldn't take it, so the guy mailed everything to me. And then, as I opened it up, okay, yeah. I, I had this picture, and I immediately sent it to Taker, and Taker said, "Don't eat the entire thing all at once." I was like, "No, I, I call it a mental institution mushroom because if you ate it all, you'd be in the this mental institution." One mushroom. <laughs> Look at that. That is one. Now I'm bringing him full screen a little bit. Look at that. It almost looks like a fried egg. It looks yeah. like a su roll of sushi. Oh, look how thick Look it at is. that. Oh, it's yeah. pretty. It's got some teal in there. I know. Yeah. Some ah. fungi. <laughs> <laughs> Can somebody help me? My cat locked me inside the house. <laughs> Mr. Pickles, you son what of a... Gonna... <laughs> Look at his heart. Hey, that's the devil cat. His he looks eyes like a are, robot cat. His <laughs> eyes are, all right, She's um, 22 pounds. She's a ginormous cat. Oh, my word. I love you. She Mwah. hates you right now. She loves me. Oh, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> JK, JK. Hey, can I tell no, you something? No, this is me 100 sober. I, I haven't even drank half of a beer. I know, and I love you every dead. I love you, inch of you, and uh, I love you. <laughs> and we have got to get back together because this is too much fun, man. This is what at the start, Cassio, you mentioned when we saw each other, we just go to each other because yeah. it, it, there is that yeah. connection. Um, and and I love you, man. I love you. I always I have, and too, I always buddy. will. So let's get together and do this again. Tex, I do want you to say, like, do you want people to go to your Instagram or do you want them to yeah, follow plug, you yeah, on social media? Yeah, plug. yeah uh, <laughs> the, one of my neighbors is pretty hot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, now you know why my, I love that's it. That's about it. I mean, my Instagram is Midian is Dennis Knight. I had this really long name, and Rikishi and Godfather were like, what are you doing? Nobody can find you. I go, they'll find me if they want to find me. You know, I'm not a <laughs> social media guy or anything. Yeah. But then I changed it to uh, Midi and is Dennis Knight. And I got like, you know, a shitload more, you know, I'm like yeah. up to seven people now, but it's cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, just, hopefully yeah, you'll I'm get like three of them. Hopefully you'll get yeah. the three that watch this show now. Yeah. And you'll yeah, have yeah, a double I digits. got Liv Morgan, Shotzi, yeah. uh, Starlight, Karrion Cross. You got Chris the Trinity. Jericho calls me. Uh, the trend, dude. Yeah, I see there. Oh my god, you yeah. just blew my mind. I know, I know. I've I've blown all kind of stuff when it comes to you. Hey, Kevin let's uh, let's let's Kevin say Nash. let's say goodbye to to Dennis okay. and and Dennis. This is episode one yeah. of many. Yeah, many. I love you guys. Hey, I uh, I I am. You know, I don't go to church, but I pray. <laughs> To hundreds of times a day if i'm in the car and i see somebody like on a motorcycle i see something bad i do a little cross three times yeah. you know just send a prayer i pray everything and i saw a couple times that you did a little you know prayer at the end of your things yeah and if you wouldn't mind i would like to say one i saw one the other uh the other day on on something and it was like please uh you know they asked me what i pray for and i was like I pray for my friends, like like you're the perfect example. We don't see each other. We don't talk to each other. If we're going through some shit, you know, we don't bring it up or we don't talk to each other. Yeah. So I pray for them. I pray for Brian. I pray for my BSK brothers. I pray for my family. Yeah. I pray for everybody because they're not going to tell you what they're going through. And if you pray to them enough, then God will talk to you for them. You know, God yeah. will tell you stuff that, that, that they need to know. And because you're talking to them. So I would just like to say, you know, a, a prayer for, for my friends. I didn't make a lot of money. I, I, you know, I didn't become super famous. But what I have more than anyone else in wrestling is I have Undertaker, Godfather, Savio, Henry, Brian. I have friends that I have had for 30 some years and <laughs> yeah. i pray every day that 
that they're still my friends and we have lost a lot of our friends. And Amen. I would just like to say that, uh, I love you, Brian and, and Cassio and, and you guys. And I love everybody. I just want everybody to be nice. You know, we have so many opportunities every day to choose whether or not you're going to be mean. And, and if you choose to be kind, then that, you know, that makes you part of like what you were when you were a little kid. I think when we get yeah. older, we forget to be kind and it's the simplest thing. You know, I go outside and I want to meet somebody and I want to make their day. I want them to be happy and like later on at night go, I'm so glad I met that person. Yeah, that's my goal, dude. I don't need money. I don't need anything. I just need you, buddy. <laughs> well, you got me for life. We're at NWO. Oh, sorry. Um, but no, for, for real, this, yes, is so part, this, is, this is part one of, uh, of a series uh, yeah, because sure. I was I was enthralled, uh, and I appreciate you coming on, man. I, I love you we too. We bounced all over the place too. I love it. It's good, and there's a lot more bouncing to do, and I think people people will be into it. Look, I don't care if people are into it or not. I'm into it, and so I am uh, into it too. And <laughs> so, what was your friend's name again? Jim. Yeah, see, I just kidding. Jim. Cox. I watch you guys. I watch your show all the time too. I, I don't watch the whole thing. I watch the little chopped up clips, you know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like I like everybody. Yeah. So you yeah. like everybody yeah. else. Yeah. Yeah. We, we've noticed I that's leave, an issue. I can turn it on and leave the entire show if that'll help your ratings and just <laughs> I, go about my day. It, it will, I think. So okay. thank you for that. And then just put like a it. thumbs up next to it or something. Yeah. I don't or know something. how that works. I'm not sure how it works. Go follow him on Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Twitter. Twitter. Is Dennis Knight. No, no Twitter. Oh, no sorry. Twitter. No sorry. Facebook. Just Instagram and. Uh, yeah. 1847 Alberta Drive, Clearwater, Florida. Come on by. <laughs> I got a cat. Hey, you can I play with my cat. cat. You can play with my cat. I'm going to feed it this mushroom. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude, you should see when some of it. Yeah, no, she. Dude, she. She watched me in the closet like a week ago. For I had to call my brother to come get me out. <laughs> she, she looked like yeah. the devil. When you held her up, she her really? eyes were. Glowing. Yeah, dude, she locked me in the car in the driveway for like two hours. What the hell? Stupid in cat. It. Stupid in cat. It. Cat's it's crazy. Knocking on the door. Anyway, all right. I love you, hey, baby. I love you too, dude. Hey, let's please let's do this again, man. I, I love be you, Cassio. It was nice, Dominic. Wherever you are, Dominic, you, right? Man. Don't yeah, yes. Dominic. We don't Thank show you, Dom, We don't show Dominic. His <laughs> name's Dom, but he's our son. It's, it's, yeah. it's a legal thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We don't talk yeah. about Bruno. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, right, Tex, guys. thank you. Right. I love you, dude. Thank you, brother. Love I you appreciate guys. you. You have made our Bye, day. Buddy. I can promise right. you. I'm going to hang up, okay? Yes, hang can up. Can I hang up? If you yeah, you have. Uh, okay. Docking. It's called docking. What? Uh, it's, yeah. <laughs> Tom, lock him out. Lock him out. <laughs> Oh, I love you guys. Bye. I love you. Dude. Bye, Tex. God almighty. Dumb. <laughs> Take him out. Funny. Holy mackerel, man. What a, what a, look, now you my know. My face is exhausted. What, I know mine too, oh, from man. laughing and yeah. my ribs are hurting and I cramped at one oh. point. I thought I might throw up. I've but, already spent $20 buying Shocking Asia. I, I, it's been a crazy hour and a half. Shocking Asia is awesome, by the way. Look, I, I, I want to say this, and I want to say it in public because I was wrong. I told you earlier, uh, you asked, do we want to give Tex uh, the, the thankful minute? And I said, no, he's not that kind of guy. He did. I did say that, and, I, and I'm dead wrong, and I couldn't be – happier to 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 have him ended it that way like yeah. it's look he's always been uh akin to the dark side like he likes loves horror movies loves the dark side so you saw all that stuff he has so he's always been that way a little and to be quite honest i've always been the opposite because i'm scared of that crap and so, yeah. so but with him i saw more scarier movies than i've ever in my life um I, like like he said, I just forgot what we were talking about, but just such a great guy. Now you know why I love him. Like he's so fast, so quick witted. Uh, just you're talking about how thankful you were that he did the thankful the, minute. Yeah, yeah. Put a prayer I, I, for that, us and set it up, man. Yeah, that's the that's the truth. That's the truth. I was so wrong, and and he proved me wrong, and it made me feel so right. You know what I mean? Like it made me feel good. Uh, so I appreciate that. What what else we got going on here? 
That's it. Unless you want to do your own thing for a minute, man. No, I think Dennis I, Knight sent us home yes. in a positive and uh, honest to goodness. I wish we could go for two more hours, but I think <laughs> those are two more shows that uh, that we can get into because he's full of it, man, and, and uh, it is good. Um, if you made it this far, put the cat emoji uh, in, the, in the comments so we know <laughs> that he locked you out of your own YouTube channel. Uh, go follow him and tell him thank you for coming yeah. on the show. That's the big yeah. thing. Please do uh, that. Any of our guests, man, thank them for their time because they, uh, they were gracious enough to hang out with us, and uh, we appreciate that. Like and subscribe wherever you are uh, consuming this. We appreciate it. Uh, whether it is short clips or the long clips or whatever, yeah. Yeah. we Thank appreciate you. For just, you. Yeah, for just, for just thinking about us, thinking yeah. about listening to us. So uh, go to bagofjohnsons.com. You can check out all the exclusive comment, content. We yeah. do our YTX, our YouTube exclusives there, the whole deal. You can get all your merch at boxofgimmicks.com. Where you can get right now for the beach time, beach mountain critters beach <laughs> towels. We need to send one for a dentist next I'll time. I tell you he what, was, he was <laughs> sweating. Hey, that to be, to be quite honest, that is exactly this picture of me that's up is from USWA. The time that that Tex was there with me, um, yeah, just crazy. I time. just pictured that guy up in a closet attic. Uh, <laughs> saying we live here now. That's your room. Yeah, yep. You can have this one with the murder guy. Well, great stuff. <laughs> like, subscribe, comment below. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. Man, if you didn't like yeah. this episode, we do yeah, we'll got two words we'll for you. We'll try to talk some wrestling next time. <laughs> no, but maybe but not. To, to, yeah, but to your to your point, if you didn't like it, I got two words for you. Suck it. Woo. Look at him. <laughs>